three, two, one. Yo, what's happening, guys? It's your boy Wolfie here. We are back now. First thing you want to do on this video, as always, is hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't already, and also hit that bell so you do get a notification every time I do drop a brand new video. But of course, that is 4pm UK time every single day without fail. You guys should know this by now. And last but not least, my Twitch and my Twitter channels are down in the description below. www.twitch.tv forward slash Connor Wolf and www.twitter.com forward slash Connor Wolf 1995. If you want to go see all of my Road to Glory games, all of my pay to win games, etc. streamed, then make sure you come say hello. Yeah, I promise you won't regret it, man. You see me other than a YouTube video, other than for like 10 minutes. So, it's all good vibes over there. Most of the time, anyway. <laughs> and if you want to get to know me other than FIFA, because funnily enough, my life does not revolve around FIFA, then make sure you come drop my Twitter channel a follow. Link is down in the description below. But intro done, finito. Ladies and gentlemen, what we have got for you today is the top five formations on FIFA 21. By myself, me, myself, and I, and why, in my very humble personal opinion, and the custom tactics that I use on these top five formations. Okay, now I've done a lot of custom tactics videos recently because I'm trying to get as many formations out there for you guys so that every formation that's on the game I've got a custom tactics for so you guys can come see it. But I'm now going to show you, in my opinion, just the top five because there are a very clear and obvious top five formations, okay? I'm going to go through each one, show you the custom tactics for each one that I use as well and the player instructions. I think you guys could probably guess what the top five formations are going to be. Let me know in the comment section down below, actually, before you've even watched this video. What do you think I'm going to do these five formats? What are the five formations going to be that I'm about to show you, okay? Because I'm actually intrigued to know what do you think are the top five formations. But formation number one, this is my Road to Glory account, by the way, hence why the team is not very good. In my opinion, the best formation on the game, and that is 4-4-2. It's just got everything you need on this game this year. 4-4-2 flat, okay, so with the two centre mids and not the two CDMs. It's just got everything you need this year. The two striker formations are very strong on FIFA 21. They're arguably better than a one striker formation this year. And the 4 4 has got everything. All the players are in a good angle. The passing lanes are good in the 4 4 2. It's just got everything you need. Now, the custom tactics I use in the 4 4 2 are like so balanced style. Uh, defensive style, sorry, I play on balance, 5 width and 4 depth. I normally play 5 or 6 depth, but with a 4-4-2, because it is just 2 flat centre mids, lower the depth just a little bit in order to help you out, so I do play on 4 depth. Offensive style, I always play on balance. Long ball is the only other viable option, but I don't particularly like it that much. Possession, fast builder, at honking, do not use them at all. 6 width and 6 plays in the box. I don't know what it is, man. I've got so much sliver in my mouth today. I keep sounding like I've got a lisp in that. It's weird. Six width and six players in the box. Two corners and two free kicks. 4-4-2 is arguably the best formation this year. I absolutely love it. I use it probably the most. That is how I set my team up in a 4-4-2. Robin and Neymar up front. Rafinha and Zaha on the wings. Firmino and Marquinhos obviously left. Uh, Marquinhos and obviously left centre mid and right centre mid. Now, player instructions. I have get in behind and come back on defence on my two strikers. My left mid is on comeback on defence, getting behind and getting to the box for cross. Same on my right mid. My right mid is on comeback on defence, getting behind and getting to the box for cross. My right centre mid is on stay back while attacking and cover centre. And then most importantly, my left centre mid is on balanced attack and cover centre. And then my left centre mid, I leave on balanced attack just to try and help with the attacking side of the play. Very, it works very well, by the way. I really do enjoy it. Stay back while attacking and overlap on both my fullbacks. That right there is the 4-4-2. And that right there is probably, in my humble opinion, the best formation on the game. Second best formation is, of course, the 4-2-3-1. It's always good. It always will be good. It always will be just set there perfectly. The 4-2-3-1, what a formation. Very overpowered. Not the most fun formation to use, though. Let's, let's get it twisted. It's a formation you use if you want the win, not really to have fun. But overall, solid. Now, balanced defensive style, as always. I did used to play press after possession loss, but I noticed they dropped a patch and it did nerf the stamina a bit. So my players did start running out of stamina. Especially on the Road to Glory account. On the Pay to Win account, I can get away with it because all my players are five stamina. But on a Road to Glory, it's more noticeable that the stamina does drain a little bit more. Five width and five depth, of course, on the um, defensive style. The offensive style, balanced as always. 
Five width and five players in the box. Very My 4 2 3 one, as you can see, is just very basic. Very what I like to call happy medium in the middle. Two corners and two free kicks like so. That is how I set my team up. Neymar from Rob and Cam. Rafinha and Zaha on the wings. Marquinhos and Firmino sitting. And then Mendy and Kaleba. Custom, now, the player instructions that I use for the 4 2 3 one are like so. Getting behind and stay forward on my striker. All three cams are just on... Completely default, except for support crosses. I put them all on getting to the box for cross. That just helps with the attacking side of the play with the 4 2 3 1. My right CDM is on cut passing lanes, stay back while attacking and cover centre. My left CDM, like with the 4 4 2, is on cut passing lanes, a balanced attack and cover centre. My left back and my right back are both on stay back while attacking and overlap. That right there is formation number two, the 4 2 3 1. Been good now since like FIFA 16. Unbelievable formation. Formation number three that I like. Ignore them set of custom tactics. That's like my YOLO custom tactics. It is the four triple two. I only started using this formation this weekend. And by the way, what a formation. Like, I absolutely love this formation. Like, I absolutely love it. So yeah, this is how I set my team up with the four triple two. Anya, Robin and Neymar up from. Rafinha on the right, actually no, Rafinha on the left, Rafinha on the left, oh that makes no difference, but Rafinha on the left, Zaha on the right, Marquinhos on the right, Firmino on the left, and then obviously, wait, why is this all messed up here, what is going on here, and there we go, Kaleba right back, Desai in Village of course, centre backs, now custom tactics for the 4 triple 2 I play a balanced defensive style, 5 width, 5 depth, I did used to play on 6 depth with this, but I noticed it was just a little bit too attacking. So I lowered it down to 5. 5-5 five, five for me just seems to work for custom tactics. In the happy medium zone, can't go wrong with it. The offensive style is on balance. 6 width and 6 players in the box. Again, I like to get as many players in the box as I can sometimes. I feel like when I play with 2 CDMs, I can get away with upping my players in the box up to 6. Because I've already got them 2 CDMs as that defensive support there. So it kind of just works. Two corners and two free kicks like so. Play instructions for the 4 triple 2 Get in behind and come back on defence on both my strikers. Again, I when I play two striker formations, I like to have my two strikers on come back on defence so I'm not too open in the midfield. Excuse me. Come back on defence and get into the box for cross. On my lamb and my ram, that seems to just work perfectly there. Can't go wrong with that. My right CDM... Cut passing lanes, stay back while attacking and cover centre. And then, of course, like with the 4 2 3 1 and the 4 4 2, my left sided midfielder is on balanced attack to help him with the getting forward. Okay, just helps him get forward a little bit more. And then, of course, my full backs are on stay back while attacking and overlap. That's formation number three. Formation number four, a formation that is probably the formation I've used the most this year, is the 4 3 1 2. What a formation this is, by the way. I love it. Robben and Neymar from Zaha in that cam roll. Rafinha on the left. Marquinhos in the middle. Firmino on the right. And then obviously Kaleba and Mendy in the midfield. Custom tactics I use with the 4-3-1-2 are defensive style, obviously, on balance. I've tried press after possession loss and that. I just don't. It just drains my stamina too much now. I, I've, I definitely have noticed it since one of the patches that they dropped. Five width and five depth, of course. The offensive style... It's going to be balanced. It's the only one that works. Long ball, I don't like at all. Five width, six players in the box. I have six players in the box because this formation is very much an attacking formation. I want to score as many goals as I can with it. So I just like to get players forward at the end of the day. Two corners and two free kicks like so. One thing I'd say with this formation is if you struggle defensively, I would not use the 4-3-1-2, okay? I wouldn't. It's not for you. If you struggle defensively, you are going to have an absolute mare of a time with the 4-3-1-2, okay? Now, my player instructions are get in behind and stay forward on my two strikers. My middle cam is on stay forward and get into the box for cross. My left centre mid and my right centre mid are on completely default settings, but I have the defensive position on cover centre like so. Okay, I don't touch anything else. My right centre mid is then on get forward and cover centre. Again, like I said, this is a very attacking formation, okay? My right back and my left back are both on during the attack. I just, when I play the 4 3 1 2, I just bomb players forward. Okay, I love it. Absolutely love it. Now, last but not least, I know, last but not least, let me know, guess, what formation do you think I'm actually going to tell you guys to use? Let me know. What formation do you think it's going to be? Wait, where is it? I lost it. It is the 4 4 2 number 2, ladies and gentlemen. Yes, there it is. The 442 number two. I love the 442 number two. It's very solid as well, by the way. Now, player instructions. Both your strikers on getting behind and come back on defense. 
my left mid, come back on defence, get in behind and get into the box for cross. Now, because you're playing with two CDMs, I actually have my left CDM on get forward and cover centre. My um, le right CDM is on... Oh, I need him on cut passing lanes as well. Is on cut passing lanes, stay back while attacking and cover centre. My left CDM is on cut passing lanes, get forward and cover centre. My right midfielder is on come back on defence, get in behind and get into the box for cross. Both my fullbacks are on stay back while attacking and overlap. Overlap's irrelevant because I haven't on stay back while attacking. But I do it just out of like force of habit really. And then the custom tactics that you're going to want to use with the 4-4-2-2 is balanced defensive style. Five width, six depth. Yes, a six depth. The reason for that is because this formation is quite defensive. But I, so I want my team to push for, further forward a little bit. If six depth is a little bit too much for you, then of course, just lower the depth down to five. You'll be on to a winner. Offensive style, balanced. Five width, six players in the box, two corners and two free kicks like so. And that is how I set my team up in game. Robin and Neymar from Rafinha on the left, Zaha on the right, Firmino left, and um, Marquinhos right, CDM, and you're on to a winner. And that right there, guys, is in my very humble personal opinion, the top five formations and the custom tactics to use for them on Fever 21. If you did enjoy this video, please make sure to hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. And also hit that bell so you do get a notification every time I do drop a brand new video. But of course, that is 4pm UK time every single day without fail. And last but not least, my Twitch and my Twitter channels are down in the description below. www.twitch.tv forward slash Connor Wolf and www.twitter.com forward slash Connor Wolf 1995. If you did enjoy these, make sure to have a blessed day. Remember, peace out, love and positivity. One love, much love.